looks quite sunny today, but it's a bitterly cold day today. And I've got three layers on under this. But it's also International Day of the Midwife, and it's the first one I'm celebrating as a qualified midwife. And it's actually quite nice to be going to work. I'm sure they'll have something arranged. I think there's going to be like a little um, buffet and some goodie bags, maybe? I'm not sure, but it's nice to be doing the job that we love. Hopefully, it's a really nice day. But we will see. It's definitely fresh. I feel fresh um, and I feel cold. And just like that, the International Day of the Midwife 2021, I keep wanting to say 2020, but 2021 is officially over. Um, it was, I actually thought it was an all right shift. Apparently, it wasn't very good on the ward, but I did elective sections, which was nice. So I had a lovely twin lady who I saw from start to finish and got to do really good hair with her. And the girls that were all absolutely beautiful so lovely came out screaming and we even did delayed cord camping with them both which was a first for me with twins um, and then i did another elective which went a little bit less happier because the baby was being naughty um, and then i prepped another lady but we ended up delaying her because we were too busy so she went home ready for tomorrow but at least everything's done for her um, and then I got to do a nighty, so really relaxed day for me. We did have um, our first COVID patient in months, so it felt weird, but yeah, it was all right. So I am officially back home, and the first thing I do whenever I get home from work is take my hair out because my head just hurts and put on pajamas on. <laughs> it's actually a really quite nice night tonight. I wouldn't mind going for a walk, but. Um, I'm cold and I'm alone, so I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, I've ordered a Pizza Hut, so I'm having Pizza Hut for tea to celebrate because I'm all by myself. And I thought I'd quickly show you what I've got at work. So I've got an RCM badge to celebrate International Day of the Midwife. It's this gorgeous blue sparkly star, which I actually really like, and it'll go perfectly with our new uniform. And then I got this little goodie bag from the RCM, promoting, supporting, influencing, caring for you. The Royal College of Midwives, um, Nottingham branch. For a proper blue theme, so the badge, the hand cream from Nivea, and then these are um, melts. Uh, like wax melts, and it smells like blueberries, and it's so nice, it smells gorgeous. I've been wanting um, pizza for the last few weeks, so I finally treated myself. And this looks like a lot of food, although it's just the meal deal for one, so I'll see what's inside. Definitely much needed after the day I've had today, so I've got my mini pizza, my garlic bread, my mini cookie dough, my Coke, and my ice cream. I'll pop this in the freezer. So this morning I am heading out for brunch with a friend. I'm meeting Amelia, who I went to university with, um, to do middle three. But we haven't seen each other probably since September, because um, we had placement. Um, the last part of our university degree and we never had any in-person teaching so I don't think I've seen her in forever and uh, it's now May so we've got a lot to catch up on, I'm going to see how she's getting on at work and how I'm getting, well I know how I'm getting on but I'm sure she'll ask how I'm getting on um, it looks like the weather's going to hold off, I was a bit worried because it was supposed to rain all day but I'm going to get the tram there and then hopefully if it's nice it's about a 40 minute walk through a park because I'm going to walk the way back from a lovely little um, breakfast date with Amelia. It was really nice to catch up. And we realised we literally live maybe a two minute walk from each other. So literally down the road. Um, and I've just stopped by the church near me and I've seen the um, caretakers and they were absolutely lovely. So I've been chatting to them about how gorgeous the flowers look. So I can't remember if I said, I'm just looking to the post service to visit return my Amazon package. I can't believe they want it returning to there um, because it was £1.99 and usually they don't want it returning for that amount but apparently they do today so that is the next job on the list. So when I went up to Wakefield a few weeks ago now I picked up my old jewellery box to bring to Nottingham and transfer to my new jewellery box and then I'm going to sell my old one 
but I've just transferred everything over and my new jewellery box is looking very full. I'm waiting for the necklace um, tray to put the necklaces in because at the moment they're all in two and I have lots of necklaces. So I need them split up. But I've found five single earrings which isn't great and two of them are my favourite and I'm also missing my favourite ring so I'm really sad about that. So um, I thought I'd quickly show you the finished layers and then the ones that I'm missing. So in the top we have all my necklaces but like I said I've got loads so they're all in there. I've got my Pandora, I've got some chunky earrings that don't fit in the earrings tray, I've got some bracelets, um, got some other bracelets and then some of the little charm bracelets which again need kind of splitting up again. They also need to clean that one especially. And then I've got my rings. This one was from a sponsored post. This one is my grandma's first wedding ring. And then um, my favorite ring is one that goes with these earrings, but I've only got one of the earrings. So I'm missing the earring and I'm missing the ring. The other earrings I'm missing is this one, which to be fair, I don't wear. It was the one that I got pierced with. So that one's very old. This one I'm missing, which I don't feel like I've worn very often. And I've got a necklace that matches, so I'm quite sad that that one's missing. This one I'm missing, which is my Christmas earrings. So I'm kind of sad about that one. I know I wore it last year to work, so it must be somewhere. And then this one, which I also think is really pretty and I've got a matching necklace. So I'm sad I'm missing those. But the other earrings, I've got loads. I didn't realise how many I've got. So this is practically full. Um, and I'm going to put all the missing ones in here because that's the last container. All the other ones have matching pairs. This one actually has two, but they're the same in different colours. And this one has three, but they're, again, they're the same, but in different colours. And then underneath that, I have my more like childish necklaces, can you say? I've got more earrings, but these are the ones that I don't really wear that came in a set. Actually came in two separate sets, but I've taken out the ones that I wear. These are some pearl bracelets, these are some fancy jewellery and then these are like, well they're spare backings and then these are like cleaning sheets. So I thought they went perfectly there. And that is my jewellery box. Okay so cut my nails and cuticles so they're now really short and I've painted my toenails but I can't open the top coat. I was hoping they'll last till Emma's wedding but now I'm thinking they might not because I haven't got the top coat on. So we'll see. I've been sat getting some jobs done today and it's been nice and warm sitting by the window but when that sun goes behind the clouds the temperature drops a heck of a lot so I'm now freezing and tempted to put the heating on which is unusual for me but that's just the weather we have at the moment. I have just listed my old jewellery box on Facebook so hopefully someone wants to buy it. I looked at how much they were and they were like £75 for me. So I'll put it on for 30, so fingers crossed. Um, the other thing that is happening this week is that it is Maternal Mental Health Week. So um, I am a part of the Shouty Selfie campaign, which is basically to raise awareness of maternal mental health. So I've just posted that on um, my blog Instagram. And yeah, that's a few of my tasks ticked off for today. I'm going to make some pasta. It's um, another Hello Fresh meal. It is, I can't remember what type of pasta, but I'll show you in a minute. But I'm making it um, so that I can have it for work for the next two days. So I'm not eating it tonight. Tonight we're having sausages and couscous, um, but tomorrow it will be the pasta for the next two nights. I've almost finished cooking it. It is creamy, zesty chicken regatto nice with uh, Alexa, salt with courgette and parsley so this is what it's supposed to look like i've actually not done the parsley or the lemon because i don't particularly like either of those so i have put the courgette in which i also don't like but i'm hoping the sauce will mask it a little bit better than it was when it was roasted so fingers crossed and then tonight when Luke gets back from scotland don't know if i've mentioned that he's in scotland today for work we're having baked caramelized on onion sausages with minty couscous and harissa tomato sauce and that actually looks really nice so i'm excited to try that um, yeah, so the dish is finished and I remember the other reason I didn't do the lemon or the parsley is because it was topped to top it the dish um, to taste and then add a squeeze of lemon on top when you're serving, which I'm not going to be able to do because I'm taking it to work, so um, yeah, couldn't do that. The other thing is, the sauce has come out a little bit thin, but 
Um, I'm quite glad actually because I'm going to be heating up in the microwave tomorrow and Sunday and often when you do it in the microwave it goes a bit thicker so I think it's a good thing. I've had a little taste and it tastes really yummy. I ended up adding an extra clove of garlic which was probably a mistake because it's very garlicky um, but still nice and I added a sprinkle of parmesan just to finish it off so I'm impressed. This is the final dish so pasta with a creamy sauce and courgette and chicken. I've had a relatively relaxed um, but productive day. I was hoping to have a lion because I've worked, um, I feel like I've worked for the last week, but I've only worked the last two days. Um, but I ended up waking up at like 7.30, so I didn't really get a lion. But I ended up getting all my jobs ticked off for the entire week, bar one, which is good. Um, it's been lovely weather today, temperature's just dropping and there's some dark clouds coming in. Um, and we're going to a restaurant and eating outside. So um, I'm going to get changed into something warmer and wrap up warm because I think it's going to be cold. Bit of a nightmare. I changed into the outfit I wanted to wear, but my black trousers have a hole in them, and I thought I had a spare pair, but I don't seem to have it here, so it might still be at my mum's. So I've changed back into the dress and I've put my thick leggings on. So hopefully, I'll be warm enough overnight. I'll probably just have my coat on the entire time. <laughs> I've genuinely had such a good night tonight. We got there a little bit before them, um, my cousin and her fiance, and once they arrived, we didn't really stop talking, so I didn't get the camera out again. <laughs> Um, but really nice, really good combo. It was really nice um, outdoor seating area and a marquee with a heater, so I was working warm, even in just my dress. I didn't wear my coat for most of the night. Food was good, ate loads, tried some new bits, and now we're heading to bed. So um, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you next time. Bye.